Oh yes, Recognize Man right here on RecognizeRap.com. I used to have a friend back in the Virgin Islands. His name was Corey. Uh, he was a sports broadcasting friend of mine. And at the beginning of every broadcast on the radio, he'd always go, oh yeah. So that's how I'm feeling this Friday afternoon. Oh yes, Recognize Man on RecognizeRap.com. Such a special episode for you guys today. We got Skizzy Boy eBay checking in from Greensboro, North Carolina. A local artist from Maine. He recently just moved down there with J Star Hefner, who is also joining us on the show today as well. And another rapper out of state, SMR. He's down in Atlanta, Georgia. He'll be joining us on the telephone. Local artist from Portland, Maine, down in college right now in Atlanta. So those are the guests on today's episode, but at the end, we got details on a very special concert going down one week from today, Friday, April 20th, it's going down Bangor, Maine, I got details on that, and we got new music from a Portland, Maine artist, his name is JDG, you don't want to miss that, don't go anywhere, it's Recognize Maine on RecognizeRap.com, but Skizzy Boy eBay, first and foremost, thank you so much for taking the time to join the episode here today. As, as I mentioned, you know, you're down there in Greensboro, North Carolina. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. But first, I want to talk about your new EP that you put out recently. It's called Running Routes. And personally, it's my favorite project that's dropped so far in 2018 in Maine. So it's called Running Routes. Why did you choose that title? Really, Running Routes came from because I hear a lot of rappers in Maine, just in general, talk about stuff that they don't do. You know what I mean? A lot of people just, they're just doing it for the image or for the clout or for whatever, you know what I mean? I decided to name my EP Run the Routes because I actually run routes, you know what I mean? I actually do the things that I rap about. I, just, I, I live that life, you know what I mean? I actually really do do that stuff. And there's some local artists on this mixtape. We got Ammo, Evo, and Jack Schwartz, all local artists. So why were they good fits on this project? I've known Ammo. I've known Ammo for a while. I used to live in Yarmouth. I've known Ammo. So I was like, I came, I came out, you know, I was incarcerated. And I came out and, you know, I know all these dudes. They all rap and they all my friends. And I, and I was just freestyling with Ammo. And then next thing you know, he was like, you know, why don't you take it seriously? Why don't you just go hit the studio? I was like, you know what, fuck it. We went to the studio. We dropped a song called Right Now. It's on, it's on his SoundCloud. And I was just like, you know what? I'm actually going to take this serious. Then I dropped live with, with J-Star. That I had like, right now, that's at like 9,000 views. You know what I mean? So I was like, you know what? I'm going to really take this seriously. And then the other artist, like Evo. I've known Evo since freshman year. I went, you know, I went to school with him. And Jack Schwartz, Jack Schwartz especially, was because I don't even remember. Somebody showed me one of his songs, and he was singing, and it was it was crazy, and I was like, I need this kid. I need this kid, you know what I mean? I need this kid on one of my tracks. It's completely different. has a whole different flow. I know people going to fuck with it, you know what I mean? Hey, shout out to Ammo for getting you in the studio that first time. Definitely the right move, and things are going up from here. So my favorite track from that mixtape is called Nothing to Say. And you actually got a video for that one coming out. So why should people look forward to that video? People are going to love it. I, I, I already know people. Are, I, I already know the fan base in Maine. People are going to love it. I have Star in there. I have Evo. I have other people that people haven't even seen before. Different setting, different surrounding, different, different video quality, a little bit of animation. It's, it's, just, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. I'm telling you. That's why I'm like, I'm gonna have a snippet dropping soon, probably within the next couple of days. I'm gonna have everybody go check out, and then I'm gonna drop it, and I'm, it's gonna go. I'm telling you, it's gonna boom. So right now, you and J Star Hefner are down in Greensboro, North Carolina. Previously, you were living in Maine. So why did you decide to move down there to North Carolina? This was just I. Right, I need to get out of Maine, and you know what? Let's go here. Cause my my mother lives here. My mother lives in North Carolina. You know what I mean. And J Star has family here. Evo, the one I did no questions with, that got the star on Apple Music. He went to school here. He went to Guilford College here. So he was the one that was like, "Hey, you know what? Fuck it. Let's come down here. I know your music's gonna pop. I know they're gonna fuck with your shit. Let's do it. Let's get it." And I was completely on board. Like, you know what? You right. Fuck it. Let's go. You know what I mean? Maine, Maine knows what we have. Maine's heard our shine. Every trail, everybody knows. You know what I mean? People know, oh, yeah, that's what they do. That's them do. But nobody knows out here. Nobody knows the ACL. That's why you got to spread it. That's why you got to make sure 
that, that you want to be known, you want to take this shit seriously, you got to you gotta network, you got to make connections, you got to meet people, hand out flyers, yo, what's up, yo, I got a show coming up, you know what I mean, just check me out, just listen to my shit. Yeah, I feel like main rappers are headed all over the country right now. As I mentioned last episode, we had Javi here, and he just recently moved out to Los Angeles. Of course, King Prez, the producer from Cumberland, Maine, he's down in Tampa Bay, Florida, and you and J-Star are in, you know, North Carolina, so I feel like the talent is spreading out everywhere, which could be a good thing if people get the word out about Maine, and that sheds light on other local artists around, so it could be a good thing. So I know you're real good friends with J-Star Hefner, and he's been doing music a long time. I mean, I've been listening to him since high school. So what have you learned from J-Star Hefner in terms of making music? I've known I've known Star personally for years, since I was a little kid, since I was like 12, 12, 11 years old. Just completely nothing to do with music, you know what I mean? But he he's helping me. He helped me, like, just form just like give me ideas give me advice like hey you know what add this like little little things like that'll help me be better as an artist you know what i mean because he's been in the game long he's been doing this longer than me you know what i mean and for those who don't know skizzy boy ebay and jstar hefner they recently um you know collaborated on a new movement a new label it's called 007 entertainment so be on the lookout big big moves coming from those two guys so lastly, uh, eBay, you got any shout outs you wanna let people know about? I personally wanna give a personal shout out to Dre Armani because I wanna personally I see him I see him as an independent artist. I, I have a couple songs with him that nobody's even heard that me and him have made at like he'll even tell you me and him made that shit at like four in the morning just lit just like but we made i'm gonna actually drop it we were just playing around but i'm gonna drop it just because but i want to give him a shout out just because as an independent artist i see him doing his thing you know what i mean i and it's really catchy it's trending i just i want to give him i want to give him recognition for that and drippy too this day's done drippy 207 shout out to drippy 207 because he worked in low key Hey, shout out to Dre Armani. And you just heard J-Star Hefner there. He said, shout out to Drippy as well. Now, hold on, J-Star. We got a few questions for you coming up in just a few moments. But first, I want to play you guys' new song, Skizzy Boy eBay, J-Star Hefner. This one here is unreleased. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Know the stakes in the jungle, I watch Know the stakes in the jungle, I watch Tell my brother, stay humble, I got him. Tell my brother, stay humble, I got him. With my money, then it comes to pop. With my money, then it comes to pop. Tryna rise to the top of the bottom. And my love is wild like Mary Poppins. Call the girl, he know I'm shopping. I'm in the kitchen, my heart, and I rock it. She on my shit, cause I drip like a faucet, eh? Don't know what to call it, I'm going all in. Hit it, she calling, eh? I get in no stalling, then I ballin', Hit it, she stalking, eh? I got some new J's and bitches don't call me, I'm too paid. I only really get who your bitch played and he can't fuck with me cause I'm so paid. Who gon' these niggas I'm doing weight and I be in a bro the gang way. Chillin' with half none is just way and that be in the mansion of Hugh. Yeah, I can't wait for that full version to drop. Skizzy Boy, eBay, J Star, Hefner. They actually got a collaborative EP coming out. I can't wait for that. So J Star, speaking of the collaborative EP with Skizzy Boy, eBay, you actually got. Another collab EP with Rocks and 96 are coming soon. Once Gatsby Gambino gets out of jail, you got a mixtape with him coming out. And as far as solo material, man, you got Bloody Roses 3 on the way. You got Playboy Hefner on the way. Why you be working so hard lately? You know I'm working so hard. I'm getting older, man. That's why I left, man. I'm, I'm really, like, when I say I'm about to take this everywhere... I mean, everywhere from Atlanta to Florida to Maryland, wherever, wherever it needs to be, I'm going there. I'm going to plant my feet there for a couple months, and I'm going to spread it just like I did in May. I'm going to try to take over every state that I can touch just like I did May. Because it's only in time. I got, I got more than enough music. I got old music that people haven't heard. And I got new music that people... I have an album done. I have a whole album done right now. And I got two EPs waiting to drop. So it's like, realistically, like, I'm just working. I'm working so hard just so I have enough. And if I do go to a representative or somebody and they're like, oh, what do you have? Okay, look, I got 300 songs. I got four projects. You feel what I'm saying? Like, done. I haven't released. Nobody heard these yet. Like, I'm just trying to, like, me personally, I'm trying to make sure this 007 thing works. Like, I'm going to make sure we go to every state. I'm... 
Honestly, right now, we working on trying to put a tour together. I'm trying to do a tour from here, from North Carolina, probably start in North Carolina. But I, I'm just trying to find a direction to go, because I wanted to go back down towards the New England, so we can, like, the last show will be in May. Hey, if you wanted to do a tour, I'm all for it, and especially if that final stop is right here in Portland, Maine, I'll do anything to come out for that one for sure. So, of course, I follow you on Instagram, and one thing I notice about you is that you go live so often, and so why is that beneficial to you, going live so much? I've just been going on live just to get my fan base up to have more people tune in. Like, usually, it's not really a lot of people on it because I just started using it. But really, I, like, for people, if they watch this, you should start tuning in because that's really why I leak my music. That's where you can hear my new music that you're not going to be able to hear until I release it. I just smoke and just listen to myself or I listen to some music, try to interact with the fans, see what they want me to do. They want me to do any remixes or anything. Like, that's really like when I'm going live, it's really for the fans, for them to come and see what's going on and talk. I can't talk to everybody through DMs. I get a lot of DMs a day on Instagram. I can't, I'm not about to go through and respond to everybody. So I go a lot hoping that those people or somebody go on it and talk or just listen to the new music and get ready for the new music. So if you want to hear J Star Hefner sneak peeks of his new tracks, make sure to follow him on Instagram, J Star Hefner 007. Well, thank you both so much, Skizzy Boy eBay and J Star, for stopping by this episode of Recognize Me. Up next, we got SMR checking in, but before we get him on the show, I gotta play you guys one of his fan favorite tracks. It's called Geeked Up. Let's run it. Hella drugs, yeah, now I'm with the stars Now that bitch wanna fuck Take it to the hotel all right, SMR, welcome to the show, Recognize Maine. So I know that on SoundCloud, you label some of your tracks alternative rock. You know, you tag some of the tracks alternative rock. That one included. So why do you do that? I just like that genre of music sometimes because, like, I don't know. I just kind of, like, differ away from, like, the regular hip-hop hashtag or rap hashtag. And my beat selection more fall on that, um, on that genre, so I just label it as that. Okay, okay, that makes sense. So, I know obviously that song we just previewed had a lot of auto-tune. I'm a big fan of auto-tune personally. Matter of fact, in high school, I, I wrote a whole research paper about auto-tune and how it rejuvenated hip-hop in a way. So, how would you say auto-tune enhances your own music? Man, it just brings like a whole life to the whole sound overall. And if you know what you're doing with it, like pitch-wise, you can really go far with it and like everyone i listen to uses auto-tune and it's just it's really fire to me because without it i sound like crap you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna keep using it until i'm up there with like chris brown's vocals or something like that <laughs> it's sea breezy baby <laughs> i got a long way to go too before i get to chris brown vocals but anyways so i know you do music you also do graphic design as well, so how'd you get into that? Yeah, I was really doing that first. I just fell on that, like I was at the crib board, and I kind of self-taught myself how to use Photoshop, and just ran with it, and ended up making covers for other people, and now I'm in school for it. I go to school for graphic design and media production, and I just ended up just keep running with it, because I was fly at it, and I make all my cover art, so everything you see, I made. And I saw on Instagram as well, you said you have a, a Snapchat filter, your own custom Snapchat filter coming soon, is that right? Yeah, um, so my birthday is April 20th, and I'm going to be up there, we're going to have a show with Keisha Waza hopefully, and I was just going to make a Snap filter for that, that occasion, we're going to have a little party or something. Okay, well happy early birthday, that's just one week away. Everyone make sure to wish SMR happy birthday in the comments section below. So you mentioned Keisha Wazo. And I know you're good friends with David. So why is Keisha Wazo, in your opinion, an important movement for Portland? First and foremost, 
the Wazo David is family, like, even before Keisha Wazo. Like, we went to school together, middle school together. Family is really close, so we, like, family for real. And his whole movement, I was there from the jump. Like, I created, I helped him with the logo, like, way before he even came out with it, for real. And just the whole message behind it, like, the youth is, is our future. And to give them the resources and the platform to knowledge everybody else and show them that they are the future, it really means the most because without without these youngins coming up right now we won't we won't have a great future, you know what I'm saying? So I'm all for it. Hey, absolutely. And another thing I wanted to ask you, I know that you're a huge Wiz Khalifa fan, one of the biggest I know. So when did you get into Wiz Khalifa? The story is my older brother put me on one of his songs like way back and after that I just kept hearing him around and just listening to him just because and then I heard his one song called Just Plain and after that I knew that was just my dude from there so I stuck with it like I rep Taylor Gang and I ended up meeting him like a few times later on in the years after high school and just been tight with him since then and by the way for those who don't know SMR actually runs a uh, a fan page for Wiz Khalifa as well as a a dog page as well. Uh, info on that on his Instagram page, Sir Mikey Rocks. You can check out those two pages there. So, what are your expectations for Rolling Papers too? Because that's the next project that Wiz has been working on. Well, I already heard of little snippets, but um, it's gonna be. I feel like since he's taking his time with it, it's gonna be his best work yet. Because I feel like he has more of a creative direction on it, so he gets to decide on like how he wants it to sound this year, because the first Roman Papers, he feel like it was a little forced, but this one is all him, and everyone's going to hear that. It might be double disc, too, so hopefully we get all we can from him. Yeah, and I know what you mean when you say it was a little forced. Um, there were a few, you know, pop music tracks on the first Rolling Papers, but my personal favorite Wiz Khalifa project, I got to go with Trap Wiz. I love that one. I feel like a lot of people hate it. But Trap Wiz has got so many bangers on there. I just love that one. Well, SMR, thank you so much for taking the time stopping by this episode of Recognize Me. Right now, as promised, we got local music, brand new track from Portland, Maine. This guy's name is called JDG. The song is called My City. Let's run it. I don't know, free gas begin be no On a show, I'm on go, got a pack for the D-Low What you need, I'm a boss, got a name by the code JDG, fuck you mean, but that green to MC Boy, gotta get it, no cosign Individual, I got coke lines Got the minerals by the boat side Hundred minimum, I keep both kinds Side with D and that's no white Proud to be what you gon' bite You a lame, you not original in my lane Watch how my pivot move, swish Shout out my Bissell brothers. High roller JDG about to get some butter. King Shark at Champion. Test me if you want. JDG, my city. You can listen to that full track on SoundCloud. Lastly, guys, before we get up out of here, those details on the concert going down Friday, April 20th. It's going down in Bangor at the Cross Insurance Center. Who's going to be there? Well, let me tell you. The lineup is absolutely loaded. We got Ashanti, we got Ja Rule, we got Chingy, we got Mace, and my personal favorite, Soldier Boy, is going to be there Friday, April 20th at the Cross Insurance Center. Don't miss that. Tickets are on sale right now. If you're interested, make sure to go cop some. And that's all for this episode of Recognized Maine right here on RecognizedRap.com. Thank you all so much for watching. Enjoy the weekend, guys.